good afternoon to all welcome back to chemistry class i hope all of you safe today we are going to study about chemical bond and octet rule today we are going to study about chemical bond and octet rule listen carefully take notes use separate note for chemistry whatever topics i take everyone should write in your note okay students okay first of all we can start with chemical bond what do you mean by chemical bond what do you mean by chemical bond the attractive force the attractive force that holds two or more atoms together in a molecule is called chemical bond what do you mean by chemical bond the attractive force the force of attraction between two atoms to form molecules okay so what do you mean by chemical bond the attractive force that holds two or more atoms together attractive force that holds two or more atoms together in a molecule is called chemical bond we consider two atoms a and b we consider two atoms atom a and atom b when these two atoms comes closer a force of attraction takes place there when these two atoms come closer a force of attraction takes place there these force of attraction we call as chemical bond this force of attraction we call as chemical bond okay so this force of attraction we call as chemical bond because this chemical bond or attractive force ab molecule is formed a b molecule is formed okay the attractive force between the two atoms to form the chemical bond between them and this chemical bond because of this chemical bond ab molecule is formed because of this chemical bond ab molecule is formed okay what do you mean by molecule already we learnt about that two or more atom chemically combined to form the molecule okay so here the a and b atoms it come closer it form the force of attraction takes place so this force of attraction we call this chemical bond because of this chemical bond ab molecule is formed okay understood students then why do atom combine why do atom combine because of chemical bonding you know why do atom combine because of chemical bonding how chemical bonding is formed how chemical bonding is formed at this discuss now listen carefully first of all how chemical bonding is formed we will explain i will explain that with octet rule i will explain that with octet rule okay what do you mean by octet rule listen carefully the atoms does not exist in free state except noble gas the atom does not exist in free state except noble gas okay because the noble gas is only have the stable electronic configuration so it does not react with each other and it does not combine with any other atoms or molecule okay how the noble gas is exist in stable it can explained by octet rule it can explain by octet rule okay what do you mean by octet rule what do you mean by octet rule octet rule means 
the tendency of the tendency of the atoms to have eight electrons in their outermost orbit okay the tendency of atoms to have eight electrons in their outermost orbit all of you know about the orbit orbit means what do you mean by orbit the circular path the electrons are revolving around the nucleus that is called orbit okay so the outermost orbit otherwise we called as valence shell or valence orbit okay the outermost electrons which is otherwise called as valence electron valence electron the outermost or outermost electrons the electron present in the outermost orbit otherwise we called as valence electron students remember this very very important what do you mean by valence electron or valence shell the electron present in valence shell is called valence electron okay you know about that orbit means uh, there are uh, four types of orbit k l m n already we studied about that okay uh, the two atoms uh, totally two atoms uh, can occupy in k shell and uh, totally eight electron can occupy in uh, second orbit and 18 electron we can occupy third orbit and 32 electron we can occupy fourth orbit already we studied about that okay now it has come to the octet rule octet rule means the tendency of atoms to have eight electrons in their outermost orbit tendency of atoms to have eight electrons in their outermost orbit this is called octet rule or rule of octet okay here the noble gases only have eight electron in their outermost orbit all the other atom does not have the eight electron in their outermost orbit so the noble gas is only stable noble gas is only stable okay understood but in the case of helium helium also noble gas but helium atom only two electrons two electrons atomic number 2 you know about what do you mean by atomic number atomic number means number of electrons okay so helium only having two electrons in their outermost orbit okay so the helium atom only two electrons but it is also stable so it is we call this doublet rule or rule of 2 doublet rule or rule of 2 okay understood and then how the noble gases obey the octet or doublet rule how the noble gases obey octet or doublet rule let us study listen carefully okay va what are noble gases what are noble gases we know our modern periodic table about that you know there are seven periods and 18 groups in the modern periodic table the group 18 elements we call this noble gases okay group 18 elements we call this noble gases what are they helium already we studied about that helium neon argon krypton xenon and then radon helium neon argon krypton xenon and then radon okay and what about this atomic number helium 2 atomic number 2 neon atomic number 10 argon atomic number 18 krypton atomic number 36 xenon atomic number 54 radon atomic number 86 okay atomic number means number of protons or number of electrons okay so the helium atom have two electrons atomic number 2 so here having the two electrons okay well, how it fill the orbit the two electron 
only two electrons have so the electronic configuration two okay and neon the total atomic number 10 number of electrons 10 we can write first cell we can occupy first orbit we can occupy two electrons second orbit we can occupy eight electrons okay the organ first orbit we can occupy two electrons second orbit we can 18 atomic number 18 so first orbit we can occupy eight ele two electron second orbit we can occupy eight electron only and third orbit we can occupy eight so uh, two plus two a uh, two plus eight ten 10 plus 8, 18. Okay, here, krypton. What are the atomic number of krypton? 36. Okay, wow. so how much electron we need? Remaining 36 minus 18. Okay, we need 18 elements. Okay, wow. 18 electrons. Okay, first orbit we can occupy two electrons second orbit we can occupy eight electrons and third orbit we know third orbit we can occupy maximum number of electrons 18 and finally last eight electrons okay and then xenon xenon at atomic number 54 number of electrons 54 given okay, so how much remaining from the krypton 54 minus 36 we get 8, 1. Here also 18 electron we need. Okay. So first orbit we know 2 electrons. Second orbit 8 electron we can occupy. Third orbit we can occupy 18 electron. And other 18 electron. Another orbit 18 electron we can occupy. Finally 8 electron in the last orbit. Okay. Understood? And then radon, atomic number 86, atomic number 86. So, remaining from the xenon, 86 minus 54, we can get 32. Okay, you know, first orbit, 2 electron we can occupy, second orbit 8, third orbit 18, you know, third, fourth orbit we can occupy 32. And then 18 and finally 8. Okay, wow. so all these electro elements, all these inert gases, these are the inert gases, all these inert gases have eight completely filled electrons, completely filled eight electrons in the outermost orbit. Okay, so these noble gases obey the octet rule. Noble gases obey the octet rule, so it is stable. It does not involve any combination of atoms. It is in free state. Okay. But all the other atoms does not exist in free state. Okay. Because all the other atoms does not having the 8 electron in the valence orbit. Okay. Well. Now, we can write this electronic configuration according to our principle. A study will learn about that. Alpha, alpha principle means the electrons are occupied in the subshell. Occupation electrons in subshell or orbital. Okay. How to write? First, 1s orbital, 2s orbital, 2p orbital, 3s orbital, 3p orbital, 3d orbital, 4s, 4p, 4d and 4f. 5s, 5p, 5d, 5f, 6s, 6p, 6d, and 7s. First, and then, Okay, clear now. Okay. The helium, atomic number 2. Neon, atomic number 10. Argon, 18. Krypton, 36. 
Xenon 54, Radon 86. Okay. How will you write the electronic configuration? First, helium, you know, 1s2, anion, 10 electrons are present here. So, 1s2, 2s2. Or otherwise, we can write helium 2s2. For the two electrons, we can take the helium because helium is the nearest noble gas. Okay. But here, these noble gases, group 18 elements, the general electronic configuration NH2 and NB6. NH2 and NB6. So, they should have 8 ele electrons in their valence orbit. Okay, wow. So, helium, 2 electrons. Helium, only 2 electrons. Then, neon, atomic number 10. So, we can take helium, nearest noble gas helium. We can take helium and remaining electrons. 8 electrons are remaining. So, 2s2 and then 2p6, you know. S orbit maximum number of electron 2 P orbital maximum number of electron 6 D orbital 10 F orbital 14 okay understood and then organ organ atomic number you know 18 how will you write the electronic configuration how will you write first upon 1 s 2 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Okay, 18 electrons. For 8, 10 electron, we can take neon. Okay, wow. the neon is the nearest noble gas. So, neon, 3s2, 3p6. Okay, understood? And then, krypton about the atomic number 36 number of electrons 36 okay so 36 remaining from the organ 36 minus 18 18 electrons remaining 18 electrons we need so nearest noble gas for krypton organ organ we take as the nearest noble gas and Organ totally 18 electrons are there. We need 18 electrons. Okay, well, so here 3s2, 3p6. Up to here, we taken after that 3p6. After that, 4s2, 4s2, 18 electrons we need. The two electrons is orbital, 4s2, and then 3d10, 3d10. And then 4p6. Okay, 3d10 and then 4p6. But our general electronic configuration for group 18, NH2, NP6. N means number of orbit. Okay, wow. Here, here 4s2, 3d10 and 4p6 are there. So we can write or gone 3d10. It is present in inner shell, inner subshell, and then 4s2, 4p6. Okay, understood? And then xenon. Xenon, atomic number 54. So, number of electrons 54. So, nearest noble gas, krypton. Krypton. And remaining electron 54 minus 36. Remaining. 18 electrons are remaining. So, 18 electrons are we need. So, if we completed with 4p6, after that, 5s2, 5s2, 4d10, then 5p6. Okay, you know the general electronic configuration NH2 and P6. So, 4d10 goes to the inertial. So, we get krypton. 4d10, 5s2, 5p6. Okay. And then radon, 86 atomic number. How to write? 
the krypton is the nearest noble gas we completed with 5p6 after that we can write 6s2 and then 4f10 4f14 here we need how much electron we need from krypton radon 86 krypton sorry xenon 54 32 electron we need 32 electrons we need okay here we are taking xenon as nearest noble gas nearest noble gas xenon we taken as the nearest noble gas for the radon and we complete we need 32 electron again we completed with 5p6 then we can write 6s2 and then 4f how much electron f orbital 14 4f 14 then 5d 10 5d 10 and then 6p 6 okay count how much electrons are there 14 plus 2 16 16 plus 10 26 32 okay well, 32 electrons we get okay outer electronic configuration n s2 n p6 so we can write xenon the 4 of 14 and 5 d 10 goes to the inner cell 4 of 14 5 d 10 final 6 s2 6 p 6 okay students understood so all the in noble gases have eight electrons in their valence orbit valence shell valence shell have eight electrons okay so it becomes stable okay understood so they assumed that since the atoms of noble gases do not normally react with other atoms to form compounds because the atoms of noble gases is a stable configuration of eight electrons which they are called octet okay understood but helium only having two electrons this helium also stable so we are called as doublet complete or duet complete okay understood what about other atom what about other atoms listen carefully they accept noble gases all the other atoms does not exist in stable except noble gases all the other atoms does not exist in stable okay except in noble gas all the other atoms does not exist in stable because they have they are not having eight electrons in their outermost orbit okay because they are not having eight electrons in their outermost orbit so they are try to get stable by losing or gaining or sharing electrons okay when atoms are losing or gaining or sharing electrons when they are losing or gaining or sharing electrons 
द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन अट्रैक्शन टेक्स प्लेस when atoms are losing or gaining or sharing electrons the force of attraction takes place between them this force this force of attraction we called as chemical bonding okay thus the chemical bonding is formed if the atoms become stable it should have 8 electrons in their valence shell or valence orbit okay if the valence shell has three electrons it does not stable it is not stable if it is five or seven electrons it is not stable it should have eight electrons it should have eight electrons then only that electrons are their atoms are stable okay students here you know you understood about that electrons only involving in the chemical bonding okay let us explain with example how the chemical bonding work let us explain with a example okay first of all we know helium this is the atom this is the nucleus nucleus having protons and neutrons electrons are revolving around the nucleus helium atom having two electrons two electrons so the electronic configuration of helium 1s2 only one orbit is there two electrons are present here okay so no need to loss or gain electrons for helium atom so it becomes stable okay va understood but in the case of hydrogen hydrogen but in the case of hydrogen hydrogen atom you know this is the nucleus and this is the second uh, first orbit hydrogen atom how much electron only one electrons there atomic number 1 so only one electrons there so hydrogen it is not stable now because only one valence electron having okay so it try to gain one more electron from any other atom to get stable so hydrogen atom does not stable now so it always try to get one electron with any other atom when it is it it try to it uh, get one electron from any other atom it is bonded with the force of attraction takes place with that so the chemical bond is formed between them okay understood so another one example neon neon you know atomic number 10 electronic configuration 2 comma 8 okay so neon nucleus first orbit two electrons second orbit eight electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 electrons so it can, it has 8 electron in the outermost orbit so no need to lose or gain or share electrons with any other atom so it is always stable okay but in the case of sodium sodium you know sodium atomic number 11 So electronic configuration two comma eight comma one. So sodium, this is the nucleus. This is the first orbit, two electrons. Second orbit, eight electrons. And last orbit, only one electron is there. Okay. So sodium atom not stable now. because only one atom only one electrons in the outermost orbit okay so it always try to lose this electron okay try to lose this electron with any other atom then only it can stable okay 
so when the sodium atom lost this outermost electron with another atom the force of attraction between or uh, formed between the, uh, the, them this force of attraction we can call as chemical bond okay understood okay so these are the chemical these are about the chemical bond what are the types of chemical bond what are the types of chemical bond there are four types of chemical bond four types of chemical bond they are ionic bond they are ionic bond covalent bond coordinate covalent bond and metallic bond okay there are four types of bond what are they ionic bond covalent bond coordinate covalent bond and then metallic bond okay understood so this about this four types of bonds next class we can study okay so today assignment today assignment what is chemical bond what is chemical bond second one what do you mean by octet rule or rule of octet okay these two, two two questions you should write and send me through whatsapp okay understood thank you thank you all of you